In the vast expanse of the universe, a new eye is revealing wonders beyond our wildest dreams. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced observatory ever sent into space, is sending back images that defy belief. From the birth of stars to the discovery of distant worlds, its findings challenge everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. What astonishing revelations lie ahead. Hold your breath as we reveal the groundbreaking discoveries that are reshaping our understanding of space and time. The universe is waiting. What will we uncover next? The James Webb Space Telescope, often hailed as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, represents a monumental leap in space exploration technology. Launched on December 25, 2021, JWST was designed to address some of the most profound questions in astronomy and cosmology. Its mission encompasses observing the first galaxies formed after the Big Bang, studying the formation of stars and planets, and analyzing the physical and chemical properties of planetary systems, including our own solar system and distant exoplanets. JWST's unique features make it an unparalleled observatory. Its primary mirror, spanning 6.5 meters in diameter, is composed of 18 hexagonal segments made of ultra-lightweight beryllium, coated with a thin layer of gold to optimize infrared reflectivity. This immense mirror allows JWST to collect more light than any previous space telescope, providing unprecedented resolution and sensitivity. The telescope operates primarily in the infrared spectrum, enabling it to see through cosmic dust and observe objects that are too faint, cool or distant for optical telescopes. Its instruments include the Near Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, the Mid Infrared Instrument, MIRI, and the Fine Guidance Sensor Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, FGS NERIS each contributing to its versatile observational capabilities. Before its launch, the scientific community had high hopes for JWST. Anticipated to be a game-changer, it promised to reveal the universe in ways never before possible, from peering into star-forming regions and exoplanet atmospheres to capturing the light of the earliest galaxies. Its launch marked the beginning of a new era in space exploration, where the boundaries of our cosmic understanding would be pushed further than ever. Since its deployment, JWST has identified several new exoplanets, expanding our knowledge of the diverse planetary systems that populate our galaxy. One of the most unexpected discoveries was an exoplanet located in the habitable zone of its star, named Gliese 486b. This rocky planet, slightly larger than Earth, orbits a red dwarf star approximately 26 light-years away. Its proximity to its star initially suggested a harsh environment, but JWST's observations revealed a surprisingly moderate climate, sparking interest in its potential to host life. Another fascinating find was the detection of a water-rich exoplanet named K2 to 18b. Located 124 light-years from Earth, this exoplanet resides in the habitable zone of its star and possesses a thick atmosphere rich in hydrogen and water vapor. The presence of water, a key ingredient for life, has made K218b a prime candidate for further study, as scientists speculate about its potential habitability and the possibility of finding life beyond our solar system. JWST's ability to analyze exoplanet atmospheres is one of its most groundbreaking features. By observing the light from a star as it passes through a planet's atmosphere during transit, JWST can determine the composition of the atmosphere based on the absorption lines in the spectrum. This technique, known as transmission spectroscopy, allows scientists to detect molecules such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane and oxygen, which are crucial indicators of a planet's potential to support life. In the case of Gliese 486b, JWST detected traces of water vapor in the planet's atmosphere, suggesting that it might have a water cycle similar to Earth's. This discovery is significant because it points to the possibility of liquid water on the planet's surface, a vital condition for life as we know it. 
Similarly, the detection of hydrogen and water vapor in K218b's atmosphere has opened new avenues for studying its potential habitability and understanding the conditions that might support life. Gliese 486b orbits a red dwarf star in the Virgo constellation. JWST's observations revealed a planet with a rocky composition and a thin atmosphere containing water vapor. Its location in the habitable zone makes it an intriguing candidate for further exploration. The presence of water vapor hints at the possibility of liquid water, and the planet's moderate climate suggests that it might have conditions suitable for life. This discovery has prompted scientists to prioritize Gliese 486b for future missions aimed at studying its surface and atmosphere in greater detail. K2-18b, a super-Earth orbiting a red dwarf star, has captured the attention of the scientific community due to its unique atmospheric composition. JWST's analysis revealed a thick, hydrogen-rich atmosphere with substantial amounts of water vapor. This discovery is particularly exciting because it suggests that K2-T18b could have a habitable environment with liquid water potentially existing beneath its thick atmosphere. The presence of water vapor also raises the possibility of a water cycle, which is essential for sustaining life. Further studies are planned to investigate the planet's climate and surface conditions, with the hope of finding more clues about its potential habitability. The TRAPPIST-1 system, located approximately 39 light-years away, is home to seven Earth-sized exoplanets, three of which reside in the star's habitable zone. JWST's observations have provided detailed information about the atmospheres of these planets, revealing a variety of compositions and potential for habitability. For example, TRAPPIST-1e, one of the planets in the habitable zone, has shown signs of water vapor and a temperate climate, making it a prime candidate for further study. The TRAPPIST-1 system serves as a natural laboratory for studying planetary formation and the conditions that might support life offering valuable insights into the diversity of planetary systems. JWST has provided unprecedented views of the oldest galaxies ever detected, offering a glimpse into the universe's infancy. One of the most remarkable discoveries is a galaxy named GNZ11, which dates back to just 400 million years after the Big Bang. This ancient galaxy, observed in the constellation Ursa Major, has provided critical insights into the formation and evolution of the earliest cosmic structures. The discovery of such ancient galaxies has reshaped our understanding of the early universe. These findings suggest that galaxies formed much earlier than previously thought, challenging existing models of cosmic evolution. By studying the light from these early galaxies, JWST has revealed their composition, star formation rates, and the processes that led to their growth. These observations have also shed light on the Ryanization era, a pivotal period when the first stars and galaxies ionized the intergalactic medium, making it transparent to ultraviolet light. JWST's observations have provided invaluable data on the formation of stars and galaxies in the early universe. By capturing the faint infrared light from distant galaxies, the telescope has revealed the processes that drove the birth of stars and the assembly of galactic structures. These findings have significantly advanced our knowledge of cosmic origins, offering a more detailed picture of how the universe evolved from a primordial state to the complex structure we observe today. One of the key insights from JWST's observations is the role of dark matter in galaxy formation. The telescope's data suggests that dark matter halos played a crucial role in the assembly of the first galaxies, providing the gravitational scaffolding necessary for gas to cool and form stars. Additionally, JWST has uncovered evidence of intense star formation in the early universe, with some galaxies forming stars at rates hundreds of times higher than those observed in the Milky Way today. This rapid star formation likely played a significant role in shaping the early universe, contributing to the Ryanization process and the growth of galactic structures. The Cosmic Dawn refers to the period in the universe's history when the first stars and galaxies formed, illuminating the cosmos for the first time.
JWST's discoveries have provided critical insights into this transformative epoch, revealing the conditions that led to the emergence of the first light. One of the most significant findings is the detection of Population 3 stars, the first generation of stars formed after the Big Bang. These stars, composed primarily of hydrogen and helium, played a pivotal role in the ionization process, ionizing the intergalactic medium and making it transparent to ultraviolet light. JWST's observations have identified potential candidates for Population 3 stars, offering a glimpse into the earliest stages of star formation. The telescope has also uncovered evidence of early galaxy mergers, which likely contributed to the rapid growth and evolution of cosmic structures during the cosmic dawn. These mergers, driven by the gravitational attraction between dark matter halos, facilitated the formation of larger galaxies and the buildup of heavy elements through successive generations of star formation. By studying the light from the oldest galaxies, JWST has revealed the chemical signatures of the early universe, providing insights into the processes that enrich the cosmos with heavy elements. These discoveries have profound implications for our understanding of cosmic origins, offering a more comprehensive view of how the universe transitioned from a dark, primordial state to a vibrant, star-filled expanse. JWST's observations have also highlighted the role of feedback mechanisms in shaping the early universe. The intense radiation from the first stars and supernova explosions likely influenced the formation and evolution of galaxies, driving the outflow of gas and regulating star formation rates. These feedback processes played a crucial role in the Ryanization era, shaping the distribution of matter and energy in the cosmos. In summary, JWST's exploration of the early universe has provided groundbreaking insights into the cosmic dawn, revealing the processes that led to the emergence of the first light and the formation of the earliest galaxies. These discoveries have reshaped our understanding of cosmic origins, offering a more detailed and nuanced picture of the universe's evolution from its infancy to its present state. JWST has provided unprecedented views of supernovae, capturing detailed observations of these explosive events and their aftermath. Supernovae, the dramatic deaths of massive stars, play a crucial role in enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements and driving the evolution of galaxies. One of the most notable observations by JWST is of a supernova in the galaxy NGC 2525. This event, classified as a type EA supernova, resulted from the thermonuclear explosion of a white dwarf star in a binary system. JWST's high-resolution imaging and spectroscopy have revealed the intricate details of the supernova's expanding shell and the chemical elements produced during the explosion. These observations have provided valuable insights into the life cycles of stars. For example, the study of supernova remnants, such as the Crab Nebula, has revealed the processes that occur during the final stages of a star's life. JWST's data has shown how the shock waves from the explosion interact with the surrounding interstellar medium, creating complex structures and accelerating cosmic rays. JWST's observations have shed light on the processes of star formation and death, offering a deeper understanding of the life cycles of stars. The telescope's infrared capabilities allow it to peer through dense clouds of gas and dust, revealing the hidden regions where stars are born. One of the most intriguing findings is the observation of protostars in the Orion Nebula. These young stars, still in the process of forming, provide a glimpse into the early stages of star formation. JWST's data has shown the accretion disks of gas and dust surrounding these protostars, as well as the jets and outflows that shape their environment. The telescope has also provided detailed views of star clusters such as the Pleiades, where stars of various ages coexist. These observations have revealed the processes that govern the formation and evolution of star clusters, including the role of gravitational interactions and feedback mechanisms. JWST's study of stellar death has focused on phenomena such as neutron stars and black holes. For instance, the telescope has observed the remnants of supernovae, revealing the compact objects left behind. In the case of neutron stars, 
JWST's data has shown the intense magnetic fields and radiation emitted by these dense objects. The telescope has also provided insights into the environments of black holes, capturing the interactions between these objects and their surroundings. For example, JWST's observations of the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way have revealed the dynamics of the gas and stars in its vicinity, shedding light on the processes that fuel these cosmic giants. JWST has uncovered a variety of unique stellar structures and phenomena, showcasing the diversity of the universe. One of the most striking discoveries is the observation of globular clusters, dense collections of ancient stars that orbit the centers of galaxies. These clusters provide valuable insights into the early history of galaxies and the processes that led to their formation. The telescope has also revealed peculiar star systems, such as binary and multiple star systems, where stars orbit each other in complex patterns. JWST's high-resolution imaging has captured the interactions between these stars, including the transfer of mass and the formation of circumstellar disks. In addition, JWST has observed stellar nurseries, regions where new stars are being born. For example, the telescope's data on the Eagle Nebula has revealed the pillars of creation, towering columns of gas and dust where stars are forming. These observations have provided a detailed view of the processes that drive star formation and the role of feedback mechanisms in shaping these regions. Another unique phenomenon uncovered by JWST is the presence of stellar streams, elongated structures of stars that are the remnants of disrupted star clusters or dwarf galaxies. These streams provide valuable information about the gravitational interactions within galaxies and the processes that drive their evolution. In summary, JWST's observations of stellar phenomena have provided unprecedented insights into the life cycles of stars, the processes of star formation and death, and the unique structures that populate the universe. These discoveries have deepened our understanding of the cosmos, revealing the intricate and dynamic nature of stellar systems.